Neil Miller says his home sits roughly six kilometers from the growing Brenda Creek wildfire. Miller, who also owns a property in Kelowna, was in the Headwaters Lake area early Thursday morning. He called the fire aggressive. A bit disconcerting because in, it's been 40 years. Uh, one of the fellows been there for 40 years up at the lake. And he said this is the biggest fire he's seen in the 40 years close to the lakes. So we're all a little bit concerned about it. Miller is just one of 41 properties now on evacuation order. The fire was sparked just south of Penask Summit Wednesday afternoon. In a press release, the Central Okanagan Emergency Operations Center says they are working on advanced planning in case the fire impacts the electrical lines in the area. The lines are the only power supply to Peachland, West Kelowna, West Bank First Nation Reserves 9 and 10, and areas serviced by B Hydro within the Central Okanagan West electoral area. Based on what you saw yesterday, do you think there is a chance that this power line could be in jeopardy? Oh, definitely. Yes, yes. Because I'm sure the power lines uh, with our heat and everything else, I'm sure the power lines are stressed already with the amount of current going through there. And I, I believe the uh, with the right conditions, and that power line could go down. Not good. Fire information officer Aiden Colroy did not know what direction the fire was burning, but said the fire has shown aggressive behavior overnight and through the morning. The last time the power line was in jeopardy was back in 2014 during the Smith Creek fire. Bombers were able to build a retardant line of protection, and the power was never cut. Castanet has reached out to both BC Hydro and BC Wildfire Services for additional information in relation to the power lines. Madison Earhart, Castanet News, Kelowna.